How to create Google AdSense account 2023 tutorial for beginners. Hello everybody, welcome into this new video. In this tutorial, I am going to be giving you a look into how we can get started with Google AdSense for your actual Google account or whatever you want to do. So basically, I'm gonna be doing it like this and it's gonna be really, really easy. It's gonna be really quick and we just need a Google account. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna obviously sign in with your Google account into you know, whatever browser you're using. And once you're already signed in, what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and write Google AdSense. Okay. Preferably go on adsense.google.com slash start. Okay. And that's going to bring you to the main Google AdSense uh, dashboard. Now to get started, you know, uh, there's uh, different things about uh, Google AdSense that you can talk about. And uh, there's different things that you can add Google AdSense on. So let's say, I have a blogger.com blog, okay? And on blogger.com blog, I want to add my Google AdSense because over here is where you can actually get proper ads. So, you know, I'm gonna be using blogger.com to actually monetize myself. So you can monetize using earnings and here you can see it says create AdSense account. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. Now, generally, you know, my Google AdSense account has uh, the general, you know, blog posts in it where I've added some text posts. So if I bring you here, you know, just basic text posts just to give you an idea of how to, you know, get an idea of these things. So to get started, what you're going to do is you're going to move over to your Google AdSense, click on Get Started. Now, once you click on Get Started, uh, obviously choose the account you want to make an AdSense on. So let's say I want to make an AdSense on this one. Now, once you've gone on making the AdSense, what you're going to do from there is you're going to come to your site and you're going to add your URL of the website. So obviously in my case, I'm going to be a blogger. So for that, I'm going to come over to blogger.com. And once you go over to blogger.com, what you're going to do from here is you're going to take the number off of your blogger. So to get the number off of your blogger.com, this is exactly what you're going to do. So obviously what you're going to need to do to just add all the ads and things in is uh, you're going to obviously also make sure to go ahead and choose a favicon for yourself because those things are the main points of your website. But yeah, to get more into it you're going to go over to your blog spot uh generally i would prefer just uh, using your main blog uh, spot uh, you know archives section but i have this url over here so uh, i'm just going to go ahead and uh, use the main url by clicking on view blog here's the main url i'm going to copy it you're going to come over to adsense and here you're going to add your url so there we go now once you've added your site you can start adding more things so here it says you know, get more out of AdSense and all. Now, this depends on whatever you want to do. If you want to help with the performance and suggestion, I'm just going to go with no because I don't really want it. And then it says your payment and country. And you can obviously go ahead and start adding payments for yourself. Now, obviously, I'm going to add my country. I'm going to agree with the terms and we're going to click on start using AdSense. Now, basically, that is the general creation of your AdSense account. Now, once we've created it, now comes to, you know, actually setting things up. And so what do you want to do is you're going to add three following steps to start adding with, you know, your ads number. And one is to tell them about yourself. So you're going to enter your information, which is going to be your basic customer information, right? So in the customer information, you're going to see payments profile. This is obviously the payment profile created for you. Customer info, you have account type with business, name and address, primary contact. And obviously we're going to go ahead and submit that in because that's my general profile then it says that it needs to verify a phone number so you can get your phone number verified as well it's really simple so i'm going to add my phone number get it verified and i'm going to be right back now once you've added information about yourself uh you know obviously you're going to tell them how you're going to get paid and once that is done it's going to see ads so see how ads look actually on your site so you're going to do that you're going to click on explorer and here it's going to bring you to ads okay so first of all, it's a stop unwanted ads. You know, use the excluded ad areas feature to stop unwanted ads appearing across your pages. Now, once you do that, it's gonna bring you here, okay? So this is where you're gonna identify where you want to actually put ads in your post, okay? So let's say in this case, uh, you know, you can get a uh, HTML code that you can add in your tags, okay? And that's one way. The other way is to just add auto ads and what auto ads will do is it will start adding ads by itself in overlay formats and uh, you can find what kind of ads you know you actually require uh, so let's say you know a person is using 
my uh you know website it's going to open up ads like this so let's say this is an ad that it opens up uh and then if they close it they're going to go to the other page and then there could be side reel ads vignette ads now a lot of people are pretty annoyed by the vignette ads but you know you can add ads like these which don't you know make a fuss so yeah you get the whole point and then there's you know the vignette ad frequency you know it could come every 10 minutes it could come every five minutes uh i would preferly go with the five minute mark because ads that come every five minute would make sense but don't overflow your page with ads okay because you know no one actually likes so much ads so once you gone with these ads uh yeah pretty much you're just going to do this you're also going to choose excluded areas if you want to go with this and you can also you know add multiplex ads multiplex ads are native ads that appear in a grid altogether so once you've done all of this you're going to click on apply to site and here it says apply now so let's say i'm going to just go ahead and apply now and i'm going to click on save and there we go so then finally once you have you know completed all these steps you're going to go with one last final step which says connect your site to adsense so to do this obviously you are going to want to connect your blog website so you're going to click on next then it says request review so obviously it's going to review your site and once the site is actually reviewed uh, let's say i'm going to click on the uh, bar over here and here you can see it says looks like you have an adsense account and uh, then obviously you can connect it from here as well and once you click on connect from here look at that so finally your adsense has been connected and then you can start putting up ads and obviously if people click on your ads that's obviously going to make ad revenue so really easy stuff and uh, let's say if i were to go on my blog right now let's see what we're going to get so currently i have the ad black blocker on so i'm just gonna turn that off real quick just so i can start getting ads for myself uh wait let me just uh, reload this page okay and once you reload your test block page uh you're obviously going to start getting ads as i said that the ad timer is one minute so obviously you're going to start getting ads by you know every 60 seconds and it's pretty you could say amazing and simple stuff to get your head around it's really great and uh, when it comes to actual ad revenue trust me adsense and blogger are the best powerhouses that work together but obviously you, that doesn't mean that you have a compulsion to use blogspot you can just use any other page as well so yeah you get the whole gist of it and uh, that's basically how you can connect create an adsense and connect it with any other provider for yourself and then obviously you can customize your ads as well so grow your earnings with your auto ads and, you know, click on get started. You can create different ads. You can add different sites in and by adding new sites and you can add in new ads. There's a variety of different things that you can do with this and it's really great stuff. So yeah, basically, uh, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.